Welcome back to our next lesson. Thanks to all those that are following along on YouTube and the Google Sites page, and thanks for all the, all the likes. All right, there's some really bad dad jokes on the uh, screen there for you that you can look at in your own time, and the answer's there. All right, what are we doing? Area of composite shapes this is the second half of, the, of today's lesson. All right, and it's we've already touched on some of this. It's just an extension of a few things that we've already done. Okay, we're up to that point where the star is there. Um, week four, lesson two. All right, area of compa uh, composite shapes. Composite just means it's made up of smaller parts. All right, it's basically we start with a, a shape like this. We break it into smaller parts like this, into its composite parts. We work out the area of one part, the area of the other part, and we add them together to find its, its total area of the whole thing. When I say addition and subtraction, I mean that sometimes, you know, if, if there's like a, a corner out of it like this, we might work out the area of that bit and take it away from the rest, like subtract its area away. That's what I mean. All right, let's look at some examples. Find the area of the following shape. All right, in this scenario here, we have to work out how we're gonna divide it up. We could divide it up down there and create a rectangle and a triangle, all right? So if we look at the area of the rectangle, it's gonna be length times width, like we've done before. All right, what's the length? This side of the rectangle is seven centimeters and the width is four. We're going to look at the area of the um, triangle. What's the formula for him? All right. A half times. Now, what's the base of my triangle? So I need to know the two um, sides of my triangle. I've got this side here and this side here. Let's just call that the base and that the height because it looks easier that way. All right. The height we can see is the same as this one here. So the height's going to be four. Now, the base. I know that this whole side is 12. I know that this part here is seven. So the bit left over, which is the same length as my base, is the difference between those two. So 12, take away seven, is five. So my base is five centimeters. All right, five times the height of four, and off we go. Four sevens are 28 centimeters squared. All right, when I work out this one, let's look, let's do it this way. What's a half of four? That's two. Two times five is 10. Total area is 28 plus 10, 38 square centimeters. And that's all we do with these uh, examples. There's the same thing worked out, done exactly the same way. All right, so this is the subtraction part. Sometimes we might subtract an area. So in this um, yellow rectangle here, we might work out the area of the entire rectangle, work out the area of this uh, square in the middle and take this area away from the whole thing. Same with this one. Work out the entire area of the entire rectangle work out the area of this triangle and subtract this bloke away from the whole thing. Like this one here. Find the area of the shaded part. So that's just this shaded bit inside here. I can work out the area of the entire square. I can work out the area of this small white square in the middle and take him away from the big area. There we go, here's our example. Area of a square is length squared. So the large square would be five. 5 times 5 is 25. The area of the small square, 2 times 2, because it says it's 2 metres. 2 twos are 4, which is that one there. And we subtract it. So the shaded area, see how we've written it out here? Shaded area equals 25 minus 4 is 21 square metres. Okay. And the rest are done exactly the same way. So for example, in this one, you could decide to work out the area of this triangle and subtract it from the overall rectangle. Or you could divide it into here, work out the area of this rectangle, the area of this triangle, and add them together. 
Okay. Same, same with this one. You've got a few options. We could cut it straight down the middle there. And what have I got? I've got one rectangle that is three centimeters by four centimeters. How did I get four? Two plus two is four. I know if I look at the triangle, the base is four centimeters. So what's the height gonna be? The whole, dis that distance there is five. This distance is three. So this bit here must be two. If the whole thing is five, that much is three, because it told me up the top there. Three plus two equals my five. So the height is two. Okay, so I can work out the area of the rectangle. My rectangle is three times four. Twelve square centimeters. The area of the triangle formula. Right, four times two. Okay, yeah, that's better. All right, how do we work this out? A half of four is two. So that's four divided by two is two. Two times two is four. Total area, 12 plus four, I'll run out of space here, equals 20 feet on there. Okay. And do the same with these. You could make this triangle here. With this one, work out the entire big rectangle. Work out the area of the small one in the middle and subtract the two away to get the shaded area. And the same with these ones. This one, it's an understanding level question, so it's slightly harder because you've got this extra step down the bottom here. What is the cost of the cloth if it costs $12 a metre? You work out the area of the sale up here. It's going to be so many square metres. Each square metre costs $12, so It'll be that number times 12 equals some amount of dollars. All right, it's just like the uh, turf example that we did in the previous, in an earlier recording. And all these ones are done the same. We could divide him up and so on. And same with that one. You can have a go at all these ones. These ones get a little bit harder, but it's the same sort of scenario, just a bit more. All right, that'll help you do the composite shapes questions in that exercise. Thanks for coming.